Hey guys, before we get into the video, if you ever consider getting coached by me but did not have the money, now is the time. From today, I'll be offering a discount up to 40% to all of the coaching sessions. Do you want to improve hard and climb instantly? This is the best time to book a coaching. This offer will be available only until Sunday. Don't miss the opportunity. Go ahead and reserve your slot for coaching until it's too late. I will leave a link in the description. What's going on guys, Visais here and into this video we will learn how to teamfight like a challenger player. We are going to be analyzing rank 1 super server best Ezreal gameplay. So if you want to find out about the secrets of how to teamfight like a pro player, make sure to stick till the end. So the first video is right here with Ezreal. So he's trying to really go for the Nashor. So he's playing Ezreal, he has around uh, 3 items and a half right here. We are starting the Nashor, he's trying to E in, we are committing really really hard right here just because uh, we have a lot of vision on the map. He's trying to go on very interesting right here that he's trying to go on an angle right here where he can, he can E over the wall safely uh, like this and right now he's just trying to kite. So as we can see he has really really good positioning and he's just trying to play really really slow. So let's see if he's going to really win this team fight. We can notice that his positioning is extremely extremely good and he doesn't really commit until he sees uh, the biggest abilities in the team. So Right here, uh, let's analyze a little bit the team fight and see what are the things that he actually have done right here. So first of all, uh, by the beginning of the team fight, he actually committed very, very hard with his E. He used the E very aggressively, but I mean, he can afford it because he has vision on all of the enemy team. Plus, he has a very short cooldown on his E because he has lots of cooldown reduction. So he's very, very confident right here. He's also using his E because it's really important to do the Nashor really, 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 really fast. Uh, I mean... Don't do this at home, be careful if you guys play Ezreal or if you guys play champion with a dash and if you do this it's going to be pretty greedy in lower MMRs if you, unless you know that you're really safe. Um, so the secret number one, be really safe and make sure you stay max range while respecting the distance. So like he did right here, he was always behind of his team. He just used his team as we can see right now as, as doomies basically. So he basically just sits behind of the... Uh, the character so he doesn't really get punished and he's always really really max range so as we can see right here he just doesn't commit he just plays really safe he just waits 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 and when the team fight is easy and the enemy team is low and we already have a major advantage in team number advantage he just is in instantly and he just wins the fight so the first number one rule is stay max range and respect the distance so this is basically uh, the rank one Ezreal on the super server is an amazing AD carry so this is the rule number one the second video uh, right here is uh, again with Ezreal so with AD carry so he's trying to clear out the wave he's trying to like chill a little bit right here and he is just clearing out the wave he's recalling because he has a huge amount of gold but very interesting right here as he's recalling let's see He's actually stopping his recall. This is something that you guys, maybe you have noticed in like lower MMRs where your teammates are like fighting, fighting, you want to recall, but your teammates are fighting. Let's see what the rank one super server AD carry does right here. So he wanted to recall, but he actually stops his recall and he recalls again. Very interesting. So why does he recall again right here? So he presses B again just because he wants to maximize his time. The reason why he's pressing B again is because he wants to go recall. But if the enemy team commits and his team is fighting, he will consider moving in and following. So it's really efficient to it this way compared to, oh, let's press B and let the base go through. So what he wanted to do is that he wanted to just press B. If his teammates are not fighting, he will just complete the recall. If teammates are fighting, then he will cancel the recall. But remember, remember that he did it two times. So let's take a look. So he clears the wave. He recalls, so right now he wants to go recall, but then he presses again so he has more time. So he gives he gives his team a chance to, in the case that they want to start fighting, he's just going to be ready to cancel the recall. So right now we can actually notice that he cancels his recall, but then he presses B again. Why? It's because in case that the teammates don't fight, he will just complete the recall. So this is really, really smart. So he cancelled his recall like two times, so he can maximize his time. Right now, if Vex ulti is going to connect, he will stop his recall. If it wasn't going to connect, then he will just complete the recall. So this is basically uh, extremely, extremely, extremely smart. We can see that same thing. His position is awesome. No one can hit him. No one can go on him. He's using the glance here instantly. He's trying to kite. He's trying to uh, back off. And right now when the team fight looks really, really free, uh, he just goes in. So this is basically uh, the rule number two. 
play around your team when they try to make plays on the map. Obviously, if you are in very low MMRs and you have, let's say, you have low HP, low mana, and you have like 3k gold, sometimes it's also good to ignore the teammates, to abandon them, to like not help them. But in this position, especially because it's pretty late game right now, it's uh, uh, more than 20 minutes in the game, he does have two items and a health. He considered stopping the recall and uh, instead of abandoning the teammates, uh, he considered actually following. But again, there are exceptions, lots of exceptions, especially in low elo, where you just ignore your teammates. Uh, so this is basically rule number two. Play around your team when they try to make plays on the map. And the last video that I prepared for you guys is actually pretty interesting right here. Uh, so he, again, uh, right now he this is a late game, 40 minutes game. Uh, so Cezreal, he starts the Elder Drake. He really wants to fight right here. He's really, really powerful. He wants to poke. He uses the ulti aggressively just because his Q and his abilities are um, decaying, like are decreasing his... Uh, like if he hits his Q, if he hits his uh, his mystic shot, he's going to have less cooldown on his ult. So this is why he ults early because he knows that he can get ult like two or three times. And right now he will be kiting really, really, really well right here. He will actually have very good map awareness. So what I really love about this particular team fight and what about what I love about uh, this Ezreal one like two KLP challenger is that while he actually fought, he was looking at two parts of the team fight. So right now. Cannon is low, he knows that he wants to focus the cannon and finish her off, but he's also looking at the other part of the team fight. This is something that very few people do in high elo, even in challenger. Like they can't have this really good map awareness and really good awareness of the fight. They just look at one fight and they are very tunnel vision, but he actually look at two situations at the same time while he knew that he just wants to focus on the uh, on the cannon and he knew that because as you guys can see he actually just throw the Q and then he just moved on the deluxe knowing that Syndra is going to be finishing uh, the cannon so this is basically extremely good what he did right here uh, just because he actually got kills and even right here look at this so he was like this she was Zonia sing and right now he's also looking at the cannon to make sure she dies so beautiful map awareness right here uh, the secret number three why did he win this team fight? So he win this team fight. He won this team fight just because he had a really good awareness on the abilities or champions that can kill him, and he wasn't scared to commit if the enemies were on cooldown. For example, in this picture, uh, they do have a lot of champions. So they do have, for example, Lee Sin. Uh, they do have Lee Sin Kick. They do have Talon Ultimate. They do have Lux QE. Uh, they do have Cannon Ultimate. So he's having really, really good positioning, as we can see right here. Right now, when Talon is using his ultimate and Cannon has just used the, her ultimate, he is just using his E aggressively. So not only that he had good positioning before the fight begins, but he's also like playing around the biggest abilities that the enemy team can use on him to kill him. So this is the rule number three. This is basically the rule number three. Have a good awareness on the abilities or champions that can kill you and do not be scared to full commit even if you're an AD carry, even if you play mid lane, let's say, or if you play something else. If you're sure that it's going to work, and if you know that enemies doesn't have uh, the biggest ability uh, to hit on you, let's say you play against Lux, she has no Q, or you play against uh, Talon, she has no ultimate, don't be scared, go in and uh, try to make a play. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you like the content. If you want to see more videos like this or you have many suggestions, please let me know in the comments below and don't forget about the coaching. If you want to get better, if you want to climb in League of Legends, if you want to improve your gameplay and fix your mistakes, uh, you can book your coaching, one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching with me if you really want to fix your mistakes, if you really want to see uh, how far you can get this game, you want to have more fun, maybe you want to get to high elo, or maybe you just want to improve your gameplay and fix your mistakes. Uh, definitely, uh, it's going to be really, 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 really fun and really, uh, it's going to be really, really fun, like coaching you and it's going to be awesome. Again, if you... Uh, don't or can't afford the coaching don't forget about the patreon because there i post every single coaching session more than 300 of coaching sessions so uh, the links are down below so if you really want to improve this is basically the best place to improve your league of legends gameplay hope you have a great day and bye bye